Supporters of asylum seekers set to be forced out of Australia are tonight rallying in Adelaide. Jared Brevy joins us live from Flinders Street. And Jared, more local churches are backing the valve to shield the refugees from deportation. They are, Brenton. Leaders at the Pilgrim Uniting Church here have said they'll risk breaking the law to stop the asylum seekers being sent back to Nauru. Effectively, they have said that they will offer them sanctuary and lock their doors to stop them being sent back. Now, today, leaders at the local Catholic churches have confirmed they support the stance, along with the Anglican Church. Tonight, a couple hundred protesters have turned out to the second day of rallies after a High Court decision was made to allow 276 asylum seekers to be deported back to Nauru from Australia. The group, including more than 50 children, was initially brought here for medical treatment and some are living in local communities. The supporters have been buoyed by South Australia's Premier Jay Weatherill. He's written to the Prime Minister offering to settle the entire group here in Australia. I think it is. I think it's morally wrong to be using children and sending them to detention centres when all the evidence is it's harmful for them. Now rallies are being held across the country this evening but time is running out for supporters with the asylum seekers likely to be deported back to Nauru within days.